Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the SE Hoongless. You are at the We All Juggle Knives channel. I've owned this blade for many, many years. I've shown it in videos. I've referenced it. I even chopped the uh, top off a soda bottle with it at one point. But I never did a full review, so here is the full review because I know a lot of people are looking for just more content to watch these days. All right, so I figured, why not? It's got canvas micarta handle scales, an extended true full tang with a lanyard hole. All right. Oh, and it is raining here right now as I narrate this, so I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can hear that, but if you can, yeah, it's raining pretty hard here. The steel on this, 1095 high carbon steel. The blade length is 10.375 inches. All right, and this is made in the USA. All right, so, oh, here's the sheath. Got a lot of eyelets around it. It's Molly compatible. All right, and it's got a single retaining strap. It does hold it in because the sheath is molded to the blade. All right, so pretty nice. That's the sheath that you get. Let's do stuff with this blade. All right, splitting. Now, many people consider batoning to be abusive to a knife. Well... Uh, maybe if you have a little wimpy knife, it would be abusive, but this uh, this Hoongless can definitely handle this. And it's such a long knife, you got so much knife sticking out that it's easy to get a nice solid hit with your baton. You like my baton there that I carved? I call it uh, Corporal Punishment. That's the, uh, you named your baton? Oh, oh, I did, yeah. But, yeah, this is great for splitting. Of course, you know... Should you carry a hatchet or a very large knife like this? Well, that's up to you. All right, here I am drawing it down one of those pieces of firewood. Now, carving with a knife of this size is kind of like doing surgery with a sledgehammer, but uh, just with this one technique, just basically drawing it down the piece of wood, you can taper a piece of wood and make a spike, right? It's doing pretty well making our, our vampire spike there. All right, but we're vampire steak. Yeah, doing the finer, doing the finer work with a with a blade this size, a little bit awkward, but it can get the it can get the job done, right? So this is often sold as a machete, but I have seen it listed or sold as a knife as well. So it's kind of how you look at it. As a machete, like uh, ten and some change inches would make it short as a machete, but as a knife, it's uh, like an extra extra long knives. I consider it a knife because of the way I use it. All right, so there's there's our spike, right? And we're gonna do one more thing with that. Uh, with a long, heavy knife, it's fairly wide. You can hammer, you know, with the flat of your blade. There's various things you can do with the flat of the blade. Uh, there's the, uh, how do you like my, my knife stand? Yeah, I've also seen people mash up roots in the jungle, make kind of mashed potatoes of the jungle with it. All right, I'm removing the bark from the end of this branch. All right now, the edge on this, you can thin it out. Like basically, the thinner you make the edge, the deeper it will, you know, bury itself into whatever you chop. Uh, however, if you make the edge extremely thin, uh, you're taking away from the strength of that edge. So that's that's a fine line that you have to decide for yourself. I left this fairly broad because I, I kind of like it being just very strong. All right, I'm going to make a spear out of this long branch. The way I do that, well, I chop basically four sides onto it, and then I chop the corners of those. So then, then you have, uh, what, like an octagonal cross-section and then you taper it from there. So basically, you wind up with a cone shape, which will be like the head of the spear. All right, so this is just showing one more thing you can do with a knife. You can do this type of carving. Now, the reason I usually consider it a knife is just the way I tend to use it. And also, like, you can clear soft vegetation with this, but that's not what I usually use it for. So if I was clearing a lot of soft vegetation, that's a classic machete task, and I'd probably consider it a machete if I was doing 
a lot of that with it, right? But if you were to compare it to like, let's say the most popular machete design, which would be a Latin machete, you know, it's way thicker than a Latin machete. And it's also shorter than your typical Latin would be. So I usually think of it as a large knife, but Essie does sell it. I've seen it listed as a machete. So either way, but speaking of listing, the current price is around $180. I'll include a link. Okay, there was a lot more carving, but fortunately, I already carved a spear uh, the day before this, right? So let's just flash forward. Uh, so that that's halfway to the spear. Let's look at the spear that I made yesterday. This is what it's going to look like. There's one half made there too. And, you know, the pointy one is the finished one. That's what it'll look like, but it needs a lot of uh, some finishing, some sanding and all that. But yeah, you can at least start off making a spear with your Essie Hunglas. Yeah, now that's that's a log spear. All right, let's go hunt a boar. No, there are no wild hogs where I live, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, if there were, I would surely eat one. And I might even share it with others. No, I would eat the whole thing. No, no, I wouldn't. Let's go hunt the most dangerous animal of all. No, that would be mad. All right, here it is. Speaking of clearing soft vegetation, I don't need to clear this. So I'm just like trimming it, let's just say, just to, to uh, show that, yeah, you can use this as a machete, the most classic machete task of all, right? Chopping your way through some soft vegetation. There we go. That, that is the bush of machete testing by the way. All right, so trimming the hedges, just one more use. Okay, let's let's brutalize this old pallet now. It's at a weird angle, so it's doing pretty good considering that. But this is just for fun. I don't think you have to kill a pallet, but there, pretty much beat it into submission. All right, budget alternatives, budget options in this large blade category. We have the Kershaw Camp 10, very affordable. And we've got the Schrade Leroy Bowie. I will include links to both of those. The Camp 10, a classic, right? That That's a, a great budget alternative if you want a large chopper. Now, obviously, there are differences uh, between these the different grinds. Uh, the Camp 10 has a different type of tang. So there are differences, but I will include a list of budget alternatives in the big chopper category, because I'm always trying to help you out. And this SE is freaking expensive. Okay, hatchets. If you find yourself basically just chopping branches and maybe splitting wood, maybe you don't need like a 10 plus inch long blade. Maybe you just need yourself an Estwing Carpenter's hatchet like that, or their Riggers hatchet or Riggers axe, which is a longer necked version of their Carpenter's hatchet, or that Cold Steel Rifleman's Hawk, uh, the heaviest and hardest hitting of the Cold Steel Hawk. So I'll include links to that type of stuff as well. You know, maybe you need a hatchet. Final thoughts on this Essie. It's a beast. I mean, honestly, not everybody needs a blade of this size, but if you want an extra large knife or a heavy machete, this is just a great uh, representation of that category. Right, so if you can at all justify it to yourself in any way, yeah, it's a guilty pleasure. Or may maybe you don't justify things anymore. Maybe you're like beyond good and evil. You're a psychopath. You don't have reasons. You just, your subconscious just tells you to, to do what thou wilt. All right, so yes, if you're a psychopath or if you have some intricate justification, you need to get this, <laughs> this gigantic blade. All right, but seriously, check out the text description box. There will be budget alternatives to this that can help you out. If you're on a budget, please try to use those links. They do help the channel, and I sincerely appreciate it. All right, if you enjoy videos like this where people do a lot of actual tasks with the, the item being reviewed, feel free to subscribe. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.